Oh, hi, I didn't see you there. You must be here for the cello bass uh, boot camp day two. Well, I got a secret for you guys. Mrs. Nord for the violins and violas, she's got them doing push-ups and sit-ups and toe touches and stretches. Uh, she's, she's got the violins and violas working. But there's some good news. Uh, we can do most of our exercises just sitting here watching TV like, like Owen and I are doing right now. So uh, all you need is your arm. So grab your arm or the person's next to you. Hey, stop hitting yourself. And uh, come along with me. The first one we're going to do is wherever you're at is we're just going to go down and up, down and up. Remember that nice straight wrist, whole forearm. We're just going to go down and up. Ow, hey, you're just supposed to sit there, down and up on your arm. Uh, so up and down, up and down. One, two, three, four. One and two and three and four and one and two and three. And you slowly go a little faster until you got it, all right? Okay, so there's number one. You can just keep doing that. And uh, that's great practice. I was just while you're sitting there watching TV, just, you know, on somebody's nose, somebody's chest, whatever. Just practice that motion. All right, let's go down to our instruments and um, we will try some other exercises as well. Now we're gonna put it on the instrument. Um, much like we're doing really automatic up and down, uh, when you get it to the instrument, then you kind of start over, but it'll go faster for you. So not up in first position. Uh, this is certainly possible, but it's even a little easier. If you're struggling with it, come down to third position or fourth position in there and do that. And it's important to practice this on each finger. Some fingers will be easier than others. Um, also notice I don't let my fingers fly up. I, I try to keep them all together as much as possible and use good hand position while I'm vibrating. So uh, we set our metronome. I have my metronome set to 76. And I'm just going to go uh, very mechanically down, up, down, up. Remember that chop that we did in our boot camp? Down, up, down, up. The second finger, down, up, down, up, down, up. Fourth finger, or third finger if you're a cellist, down. And then we do eighth notes. One and two and three and four and then and two. We're not vibratoing yet. We're just getting the motion down. Second finger and first finger. Okay? And that's easier. Maybe try triplets. One and a, uh, 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 one up down 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 up so uh do that try it a little faster if you can do 16th notes then you've probably you can just uh turn off the metronome and and get it going uh from there all right let's try some exercises with the bow next Yeah, switch to cello here, but again, for both cello and bass, these exercises work for, for both of you. Um, we're going to do sirens now. Um, you're going to need one of two things for this exercise in addition to your instrument. Um, you could either have an empty house with no one that can hear you, or two, you, you, uh, you want to make sure you have somebody in the house that you really want to annoy. Uh, this exercise just sounds ugly and there's a point where in learning vibrato you just got to make some ugly sounds before you get beautifuler, if that's a word. So we start again, again, maybe not even with first finger, maybe start with second finger because that's going to be right behind your thumb. And go up to, you know, third, fourth position, somewhere up here comfortable uh, if you're struggling. And sirens just sound like sirens. So you're going to actually physically move the note up and down the string. So we start maybe with that, uh, with our bow. We do our, some real automatic move motions. <laughs> And now we start to exaggerate that. And then the sirens get a little smaller on the fingerboard. And again, don't let your wrist start to flop. I noticed mine was even doing that in the video. It slowly gets smaller. And hopefully you have that. 
Now you may notice as you start with the bow that everything becomes a little more complicated again. So go back to those other exercises and, and practice them. <laughs> practice that as well but the sirens are great make sure you go slow that's an important part as well okay those are the main um, those are the main exercises I have one more to show you here uh, and then we're done with our exercises for this part of the boot camp <laughs> I have one more tip for you. I feel like the ones that I've shown you are the ones that you're going to need to spend the most time with. Um, but another kind of weird trick that seems to help sometimes, um, and I, I'm not quite sure why it works, is is this: you're gonna you're gonna vibrate. Practice that beautiful vibrato with with no bow. And like in this t instance, I'm using the G string, and I'm just playing um, uh, C on the G string, just vibrating. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to bow my open C string at the same time. So I'm fingering one string, but I'm bowing on the other. And for some reason, sometimes separating, not, not trying to actually make the vibrato happen on the string that you're bowing, will help connect something in your brain. So again, I get my vibrato going on the G string, but then I play a different string. You actually hear it sounds a little vibrato-y as it is. But for some people, this helps us just kind of get that coordination of smooth bow stroke and vibrato. Um, I think sometimes it's not so much this, it's, it's the doing the vibrato while doing a different motion with your other hand that sometimes will, will tie you up. So try it on every finger. And then, you know, see what happens. And after that, you're, you're pretty much good to go. You're going to try some faster vibratos, you know, and then slower. All of these are used to different expressive effects um, in, in various kinds of music. So there you go. Uh, practice those exercises a little bit every day. And if you find yourself getting frustrated, walk away from it, uh, work on something else for a while, and then come back to it. And before long, your brain will make those connections and you've got your vibrato going. Good luck.